YouTube, Mero Cabana here, and today I'm just going to show you guys my setup that I have working right now on Mountain Lion Developer Preview 2, alright, and um, as you can see, I'll just show you the few minor changes they've made from Developer Preview 1, if you guys were familiar with that one. They've uh, condensed the iPad, um, I mean iPad, sorry, Launchpad uh, display, and just crunched the icons up together, which I'm not a fan of, personally. Uh, they also fixed the notification glitches, which is a real plus. They, um, uh, changed the, uh, software update still has issues. So every time you'll check for a software update on Developer Preview 2, it'll tell you you have a, th a Thunderbolt update every single time. So that's a big glitch for that. Uh, they finally added support for Twitter for, um, the notification center. And they also fix bugs with the users um, and groups uh, uh, icons and all of that. And uh, iCloud, the bugs are fixed with that as well. It doesn't keep every five seconds asking you to re -put, input your password. So, um, oh, sorry. And uh, if you are a Parallels desktop user like me, as you can see, here's my Windows desktop right next to my Mac desktop. Just, uh, I love this. <laughs> Uh, if you are a, um, a Parallels Desktop user and you want to be able to use Parallels Desktop on Mountain Lion, uh, make sure, first of all, you get the latest update. And the latest version of Parallels is, um, the latest version of Parallels is 7.0.1505.7406667, which is compatible with Mountain Lion. And, um, there are some minor glitches with it though. Once you get it running, you may have network issues with your Parallels desktop, with your virtual machine, um, connecting uh, over a bridge network. How I managed to fix this for me was I went to Devices, uh, Network, and Shared Network, and um, I just took it off of uh, the bridge network because the bridge network does not work right. So once you have it connected to the shared network, make sure it has its own individual um, uh, IPv or whatever. And uh, it should be working perfectly. So um, if you guys want me to show you how to set up a desktop like this, it's fairly easy, but some people just don't know. Uh, go ahead and leave a comment in the uh, comments below. <laughs> or... Um, yeah, just uh, send me a message if you want one, and um, I'll show you guys how I managed to play, you know, Saints Row 2, uh, Arkham Asylum, and games like that on my virtual machine uh, while, yeah, on my Mac. So it's really cool. You can play Windows games on Mac and everything without using, I mean, you know, it's it's easy to use, um, what is it called, uh, crossover games, but, you know, it's, it's, it's cool to just have the whole experience, in my opinion. Uh, and I'll show you how to connect to your, um, if you only have a PS3 controller, change it to a Xbox controller. Anyway. anyway, yeah, just leave comments in the, um, comment section below, and, uh, subscribe if you guys like my videos, and, uh, I'll try to be more regular with my videos. I haven't made a video in a while, but, um, that's gonna change. Alright, guys, well, thanks for watching, um, and, uh, stay tuned for more.